Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy, Ryan Dins. And on this episode, we are going to talk about Algorand and what's been going on with Algorand. Why is it just taking a gigantic doo-doo right now? It has been going down massively for the past month or so. And we're going to get to the bottom of this. Don't, don't get me wrong. You are in good hands right now. So hit that like and subscribe button and we're going to get into this. All right. So what's going on with Algorand is... As you can see, it's followed this pattern where it goes up a little, then returns a lot of the gains. Goes up a little, returns a lot of the gains. Goes up a little, returns a lot of the gains. However, every time you see this, you notice it only gives back maybe 40% of the gains. So that's good because it's going to keep rising um, if it follows this pattern. So here we go. Breakout. It, it, it took a while to really break out, but every time it has broken out, it's done it even here. And then this is the only one where it didn't break out, but you could see it break down. And that's, that's a clear sell right there when you see it go through there. So um, I made a video in particular about this breakout and you got to be smart with this. You know, when it broke out here, I was selling here. I, 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 I caught a little of this candle, but I mainly caught this. I sold a lot there. Um, but I'm still holding some bags because I only sold about 40% of my position around here. So right here is where I think it's going to consolidate. If you're watching this video and you're like, all right, what's going to happen? Why am I watching this video? Why am I wasting my time listening to you? Who are you? Hit that like and subscribe button. But before I tell you that, this is what's going to happen. In my opinion, that is not my, it's just my opinion. It's not financial advice. It's going to consolidate in this little area, right from around here. Here to about here, I think it's going to bounce back and forth. So don't be surprised. Do not be surprised. Um, I don't think it's going to hit a dollar, but it might hit the dollar 15 mark. And it might end up bouncing around here. But then it's going to bounce around, bounce around, and then come up and end up higher than this. I think it'll be around $5 in uh, like about a year. Um Maybe, maybe sooner, like maybe, uh, maybe summer, it might be around $5. Uh, that is if we stay in a crypto bull market, the bull market has not ended yet. I know it's been a little bit rough, but it hasn't, it hasn't ended. I mean, take a look at Bitcoin right now and you can see what I mean. Um, you know, like look at the big picture. We are still trending upwards, higher, high, higher, high, higher, low, higher, low, higher, low. Like and um, I know this is a video about algo, but just to show you what Bitcoin, I think it's going to break out of this. Um, you're going to see what direction it goes in, because if it goes this way, it could be pretty bad. It could, uh, could end up in the 30,000 range at worst case scenario. Um, I don't think it'll go any lower than 30. But if you see this one trend line, it's, it's very possible that it could like hit here. That's like worst case scenario. Um, but there is some strong support at 40,000. So I think we broke that 40,000 mark. I don't think we're going back under 40. I don't. That's just what I think. So that's all I got to say for this episode. Uh, we'll take one last look at the chart and you can see, you can see what it's doing up a little bit, down a little bit, up a little bit, down a little bit. Up. It, it's just going to follow this roller coaster, I think, um, and continue and then end up here. So don't panic, don't sell, uh, do what you want. But I mean, if you sell right here, you're going to be pissed when it gets, gets to five, uh, five dollars. So you know, it's up to you. It's up to you what you want to do. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say for this episode. Peace out.